It's late winter and finally all my asparagus have died back, gone to sleep and are now ready to be pruned. This video is a quick show as to how to prune them, why you need to prune them and when you need to prune them. So firstly and probably most importantly is when do you need to prune back or cut back your asparagus? The answer is when they are, if you can hear in the microphone, dried completely. That means there is no set time frame. Although you know, if you're in Cape Town in South Africa or in South Africa, you can roughly work on around August. Um, I find that is when consistently all of the asparagus ferns have died back naturally all the way to the ground. With that being said, have a look at your, your spears, ultimately your ferns, and make sure they are dried all the way down to the crowns. You don't want to be cutting them when they are still green. Why? And that leads us on to the next point, which is why do we want to prune or cut back our ultimately died off asparagus and that is to allow space for the new spears to come through the ground as well as to allow all of the nutrition and energy that's been gathered through the leaves during summer to ultimately start drooping back and being transferred from the leaves and the stem into the roots once that happens we can prune it then the roots have all the stored energy they need for the spring push for those beautiful luscious asparagus spears. So now you very quickly know when to prune them, you know why you need to prune them, so let's just prune them. So here we have a beautiful retired asparagus plant. has some weeds which we'll take out, but what you can see is the ferns are completely dried out. What you will note though with asparagus is even though they are completely dried out and they just crumble, if you tug them, they don't come out. These are directly connected to the crown and what you do not want to be doing is taking this and tugging it out. You'll feel that there is resistance but you don't want to be pulling it because what you're going to be doing is ultimately damaging this crown that is doing a huge amount of work for you which is going to give you a perennial harvest for 20-30 years to come. So what you want to do is take a nice sharp pair of pruners at, at ground level cut it off. Move it away, cut it. Okay. These have all been removed and I'm actually not going to cut, I'm not going to pull this weed out, I'm just going to cut it, leave the roots in, all the nutrients that the dandelion has just mined is going to be in the roots when it breaks down. But here we go, I move this away, you can see beautiful rich lush soil and all of the asparagus spears right over there. Now if I show you another one, you can see that the spears have actually started pushing through. That's just because we've had super, super weird winter and quite a mild one at that. Um, close it back up, leave the little pieces out and that is literally all you need to do. So now that you have cut back your old asparagus and you have a beautiful pruned back crown like this, the only thing left to do if you haven't set your soil correctly the very first time is you would need to fertilize with a balanced fertilizer and add some mulch. You can see I have mulch and you can see the quality of my soil is insane. So I am not going to be mulching, I'm not going to be fertilizing but if you do need to do that do it. Also what you should be doing is those guys get some strawberries in the ground I've planted a few and the idea is I've got two rows and 
that strawberry will jump over and send a little daughter out here and we'll end up with a bed of strawberries interplanted between the asparagus spears. So mulch and fertilize if you need it but don't overdo it and don't do it if your plants don't need it. So now you know what to do with these dried off asparagus spears, you know how to cut them down and you know when to cut them down. All that's left is for you to actually go and cut them down in your own garden. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it out to your fellow asparagus growers and please subscribe to the channel so you can see how these asparagus spears are going to give me years worth of bountiful harvests to come. Until next time, happy harvesting.